Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see here on our channel, social media, or website. Reach out to me directly, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing a watch that was a sensation when it launched in 2017, the first Rolex Moonface watch since the 1950s. The Rolex Cellini Moonface, reference 5535, was a revelation. It's still impressive today. One of the best dress watches you can buy with Rolex quality history, horological integrity, accuracy, and despite the fact that it's a Rolex, rarity is in its favor. 39 millimeters in red gold, not pink, not rose, red gold. The watch is also reasonably thin, though not overly so. 13.3 Rolex favors durability over absolute thinness. You can see from lug to lug it's remarkably compact, though 46.2 millimeters with a standard 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. The strap is a Rolex factory piece. Let's take a quick look at the hardware and the software, then throw it on the wrist. As you can see, it is a very, very, very dark brown alligator leather, almost black, with a sheer edge, a very thin one, showing you the layers of leather, a monotone stitch, and on the underside you can see a more conventional calfskin. This is a Rolex factory strap in outstanding condition, and it features a full deployment clasp, which is not universal on the Cellinis, this being the flagship of the Cellini line with the complications. It features a full clasp, a folding clasp with the Rolex 5-point coronet to keep the watch secure from droppage while donning or removing at bedside. Throwing it on the wrist, you can see it's nice and compact across the wrist. I can recommend it for a wrist as small as 13 centimeters in circumference. Because of the domed bezel, it will slide underneath the dress cuff. It's very comfortable, handsome, nicely proportioned, and the red gold goes well with any skin tone. Now, taking a quick look at the timepiece in detail, you appreciate that this is not just another oyster case. First, the lug profiles are far thinner and more graceful than you'll find even on the date just and the day date. And in profile, there's a lovely compound curve to the case. Light does beautiful things across this watch. You can also see there's a push adjuster for the moon phase complication, and then there's a double-stepped bezel. The lower portion of it is coined, like the edge of a quarter in the United States, and then there's a domed upper portion that forms a handsome rolled gadroon. The crown is screwed down. The watch is 50 meters water resistant, more than the standard 30 meters of a dress watch, and it is a screw-down crown, but with no crown guard, it's quite easy to access. Taking a look at the dial, you can see it's a lovely white, not silver, but white lacquer with applique split rose gold indices for the hours. You have a radial or pointer style date outboard with a blued lunette style indicator. You can see that there are also steps in board for reading seconds as well as minutes. And then we have a lovely set of alpha hands, which I prefer over Dauphine because they're pinched at the center and they have greater dart-like elegance. Applique rose gold Rolex crown up at 12 o'clock. And you can see there's a small faceted triangular dart style index pointing to the moon face. Now you also appreciate that there are two, not one, but two polished rose gold chapter rings around an enamel moon phase disc. It is blue enamel, and Rolex has a patent on the process used to create that enamel. Now, if we get really close, and I'm gonna do my best not to corrupt the focus, but you can see that there's a piece of meteorite used for the moon itself with those Vidman statin oxidized and flash frozen stabilized crystalline patterns. So no two of the moons on any two of these watches will be exactly alike. A little note on function. The watch doesn't include a conventional quick set because of the ability to move the hour hand independently while well, the watch keeps keeping the time, you have the ability to travel quite easily with this watch, as it's very easy to quickly adjust as you jump time zones. Now, if you wish, you can also jump the date forward or backwards as you cross time zones, regardless of which direction you are traveling. Pull the crown out all the way, you have hacking or stop seconds. The case back of the watch is solid. It's basically like a gold dollar coin on your wrist. You can see it too features a coined profile, openable with a Rolex case tool. There's satin finish on the reverse of the case as well as the outer case back and black polish on the center. Underneath is Rolex manufacturer caliber 3195, which is only used in this watch. Automatic winding, 48 hour power reserve. It has the time zone feature, stop seconds. It's adjusted in six positions. And although it does receive the COSC chronometer certification with a five position test, Rolex then cases up the COSC certified chronometer movement, tests in six positions as a fully cased watch and allows it to run no worse than minus two plus two seconds a day. That is the substantive basis for that term superlative chronometer. While it's not written on the dial of the watch, and by the way, the minimal 
printing on the style is in good taste Rolex please more of this on the sports watches nevertheless this is also a superlative chronometer the watch has a full balance bridge with a free sprung index so it's very shock resistant it has a handmade brigade over coil hairspring so it keeps excellent time in every position the better to help earn that chronometer certification and the hairspring is made of a blue oxidized niobium zirconium alloy called parachrome blue that is highly anti-magnetic all of that and the watch uses Rolex's own proprietary shock protection called Paraflex. So you're getting a lot of Rolex technology and because of bi-directional winding and Teflon coated reversing wheels, it is a silky smooth and silent winding system beating away at 28,800 vibrations per hour. Rolex's ultimate dress watch. Email tmaso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.